So if, if you can go in the direct physical opposite direction of that unhealed trauma, you start to reprogram what the ego believes is a threat to survival. This is the only thing that, that holds uh, people back is they have certain beliefs that certain things are a threat to survival. Now, you know, I always, I always have to say we don't want to make an enemy of the ego, right? Because that would be making an enemy of ourselves. That would be internal division. It's also a form of self-hate. So we're not making an enemy of the ego. But we want to have an adult conversation with the ego and debunk some of its fear mongering. How do you, how do you uh, reduce the emotional charge around fear? Well, you start to debunk it. You know, this, this is, this is why having a meditative practice is so important when you're able to get still and go within and get to the root cause, ask the question, maybe ask your heart, ask your, what, what is my problem? What is wrong with me? You know, you might get a, a, a hit of intuition. Well, you're worried about scarcity or you're worried about being abandoned or you don't believe you're good enough or you, you don't have confidence in yourself or you believe that you're only purpose in life is to be needed by others. Whatever that story is that was developed in childhood, go back and start debunking that. Show yourself where you're valuable. Show yourself some love. Show yourself that you're strong enough to be alone and not die. <laughs> so once you kind of identify where the work needs to be, you can take physical action in the direct opposite direction of that unhealed trauma and that rewrites what the ego believes is necessary for survival.